Hey guys, it's Nightchammer here. Today I'm making an unboxing video of the Leship tablet. I bought it for seventy dollars off eBay, seventy dollars Australian dollars, so it'll be like fifty dollars, fifty dollars uh, USD. So let's go unbox it. So apparently this is the box it comes from. Looks really plain. It says it's brand new. Now I have dabs on it since this clearly looks like it might be refurbished since it has nothing. Okay, let's open it. Uh, opening the lid, you find the screen protector. Uh, the actual tablet itself. So this is even 10 inch. I have to go measure it. Just wait, let me get a ruler. Okay, maybe it is a 10 inch. It says 10.1. It's, yeah, it's 10.1 inches. Okay, I didn't lie for this. But the price was worth it. And this is what, let's see what else is in here. Oh, hot joke. What the fuck? This is such a bad box. This is, you get an OTG cable for some reason. Change it on. You get a stylus for free apparently. You get a charging cable, micro USB. And huh? You get an adapter that's connected to the charging cable. So basically you get two charging cables. Okay, let's pack everything up and unbox the tablet. So this is the tablet itself. It's a tablet. It's fun, it's actually glass or plastic, I'm not sure. That's cold. The back is aluminum. And you have a headphone jack, which most songs don't even have. Okay, so let's try power it on. Oh, it actually starts without me charging. So let's ship tablet. I'm pretty sure with these kind of tablets, you don't even have to sign in before you actually use it. Hmm. Let's see what else it has. I mean, it has two speakers, which I doubt both of them are real. It's on the back though. Oh yeah, there's this thing. It's a SIM card slot. Ouch. How do I even open this? Okay, apparently there's, yeah, dual SIM with the micro SD card. And I've taken off the back plastic sleeve as well. And it's actually aluminum. Aluminum for this. How do I put this on? I won't be putting a SIM inside here. Oh crap. When I bought this, they said it had Android 7.0, but this looks like 4 point something. Okay, let's see what version of Android it is. First, connect your Wi Fi. Yeah, do I have nothing? <laughs> this is an empty tablet, isn't it? These things you should be moving to the beginning. That looks just weird. Okay. Okay, let me set everything up. That was loud. Uh, so for Android, it's actually 7.0, which I'm surprised, since I got it for this cheap price, which is about 50 US dollars. Mm, and the battery, apparently, I can't show the percentage of it. It doesn't allow me. And for storage, it actually has 32 gigabyte storage, like like it said. Yeah, 29 really. Let me try download some apps and test some benchmarks with it. Okay, apparently this thing isn't Play certified, so I couldn't actually download any apps. So I'm also uh, doubting I can, this thing is trustable. It's like the Huawei thing that you can't use Google services such as this as well, Google Play Store. Hmm. Okay, since Google Play services doesn't work, I got AppToid here, which is another downloading. I'm trying to get YouTube to here, hopefully YouTube app works. Or oh, this tablet's pretty trash. Okay. Meanwhile, while that's downloading, let's test the camera. So let me grab the camera somewhere. Where's it going? There go. Yeah, no. Okay, put the camera, let's see what it looks like. Mm, it's a, it says it's an 8 megapixel camera. Looks sort of decent. What about the front camera? Oh no. Let's see the video quality. Crap, what did happen? Oh, there's YouTube installing. This is through App Toy. Since Google Play services, they're not allowed here. Not sure if it's allowed since I couldn't. This thing is banned from Google apparently. They didn't certify it, so it might be a bit dodgy. Okay, so the YouTube app is installed. Let's see how it works. Mm, a bit long for loading though. Okay. It's running. What's happening? 
this happens and I don't know what you do. Okay, I'll go here. How the f do I get this? Oh, got that. Okay, I finally got my device registered after finding the device ID and pasting it. So let's see if the whole thing works or not. If I go to YouTube right now, I swear if it doesn't get registered, I'll be really mad. It's taking a long time to load though. Maybe the RAM is. Okay, update. Huh? If it still has that, I'll be really mad. It took me so long to just get the. Oh my fucking god. Okay, this is better. Upon restarting the device, it let me sign in. So I'll sign in and be back soon. Okay, finally I'm in. I mean, this, this is a super old school tablet. Old school Android one. I haven't seen this for a while. Oh god, that sound is so loud. Okay, let's try it now. Try YouTube for once. Since all you're gonna do for this tablet is mostly is YouTube and nothing else. So let's see. Okay, update. Open? I can't update it. What? Oh, don't bullshit me, please. Or should I download YouTube from here? <laughs> what? App isn't installed. Okay, that's weird. Okay, I apparently found it. Updating. Apparently the app is still not installed. After I update this, let's see. Oh, my Wi-Fi is so slow. Oh, you know that. What the fuck? I'm not that slow today. It's going to fail 5 megabytes per few seconds. Hmm, my Wi-Fi is not too slow today. Normally it's really weird, sir. Okay, let's set the brightness up so I can see it properly. Okay. It still looks pretty dark. Actually, the brightness is pretty high. About filming it, it's not high. Let's see the flashlight works. Oh, it actually has a flashlight. And you can actually dial with this as well. Okay, let's see how that's doing. And I hate this when it says installing. There's no bar for you to see how much it's been installed. Mm. Okay, I'll be back when it's done. That thing is YouTube finally working now. Google Play servers is finally installed, that took me too long. Okay, so now let's check something else. The Play Store, can I use it? No updates. Oh, I can now. Finally. Okay, first of all, of course, I'm gonna get Chrome. So that browser is really trash. That's it. Okay, next of all, to get Geekbench and some CPU tests. Okay, I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, here are the results for CPU-Z. It's a two, apparently it's a two gigahertz processor with eight cores, which is pretty amazing. And it's a device, it says it has oh, one gigabyte RAM. On the listing it says two gigabyte, but the hand it has only one gigabyte RAM. Oh my God. Let me try to focus in the camera on it. Yeah, one gigabyte RAM only. With 30 gigabyte storage, which is actually true. Okay. Mileage 400 is really trash. So if you don't want to play any games, all you can do is like pretty much watch YouTube at 720 Oh god. That's really evil. Okay, I literally just spent like 40 to 50 minutes just doing those two benchmarks. And you can see the normal CPU benchmark is really really low. Like 300 something single core and 995 multi core. Like the phone I'm using to film this got 8600 for multi core. And pretty high for that as well. And for compute, like GPU, this thing got a score of 785, and the form using to film this has a score of 13,000. This is like really, really bad. It's like worse than any of the other forms I tested before, except for like two forms. This is pretty bad, but somehow it doesn't really seem that laggy. Okay, I just drained like a lot of this battery. You can't show the battery percentage as well. Even opening YouTube takes like forever. Okay, this is how long it takes pretty much. 
Okay, so this will be the end of this video. So bye for now.